Welcome to Make Easy. In this specific video of file handling, I'm going to explain you about how to make changes in the records. In previous videos, I explained about to store the data, output mode, to add more records, append mode, to copy the data from one file to another file. I've explained that also in using input and output mode and using input and append mode as well. So you can watch those videos to understand. Now, in this video, we are going to make changes in the file. Change the value of the file. A sequential data file, student.dat, contains some records of students with field name, roll number, name, marks of social and computer subject. So, a student.dat file is already exist, which have these records, this data. So, let me check. You can go to the C drive. In the QV64 folder, and you can see student.dat file is here. So let me open this. We have this roll number, this name inside the double quotation, and max of social and max of computer. So we need to change this value, max of computer, and add 5 to these values. That's it. We have to do that. So how we can do that? As you can see, write a program to increment max of computer by 5 for all students. Okay, let me write a code. CLS to clear the data of the screen. So open the given file name that is a student dot dat for input because we are reading data from the file as as one. The process of changing the data is will read data from this file, all the files, all the data from this file that is a student dot dat, whatever the data is available in this file will read that so i am using input mode to read then after that okay i will create another file uh, let me give name new dot inf you can give any extension your choice for output as has two why I'm using this output mode because I want to store all the information whichever is available in this file whatever is available in this file student.dat I'm going to read the data and after reading I will increment the value of computer subject increment the marks of the computer subject and I will store that updated value in this new.inf file okay so to read the data while not eof of one because we are going to read the data from this student.dat file okay what are those data input has one this has one represent the student.dat file from this file i'm going to read r that is roll number and then n dollar that is for name and then marks of social so s marks of computer that is c okay now after reading, I will increment the marks of computer that is C equals to C plus 5 because I want to increment the marks of computer. After incrementing, I will store that in the new file, right? As 2, I am going to store that in new.inf file. What are those values? I will store roll number R, N dollar, that is name, S for social marks and C for computer marks. Uh, yeah, I can give C also or I can give any other name like C1 and I will store that updated value in C1 and I will store that here. Okay. And then after that we have used here I loop so I will write here wind. Okay. Now this is done. What I have done is I have read the data from this student.dat after reading i have incremented the value by 5 for computer subject and i have stored that in the new file that is new.inf after this point okay now what we have to do first of all let me close the file close as 1 comma as 2 both the file are closed after this, what I need to do is I will rename, I will delete this file student.dat 
because I have copied the data from this file. So I can delete this file. So for deleting, I will write here kill file name is student student dot eat. I've copied and incremented the data and stored in the new file. So I don't need this file now. So kill means delete the data, delete the file, deleting this file. Now I will rename this new dot inf file as student dot dat file. So for renaming, I will use your name new dot inf as student dot dat. So I will rename this file. Use this double quotation for a string, and then after that, finally, I will write your end. Let me show you folder first. There is no changes here till now, and check the marks 74, 93, 62, 76, like that. Okay, let me minimize and make it small in size. Okay, so we can see both the screen. So let me run the program. Look at here, new file will be created. New.inf file will be created first after running. It is executing. Look at this screen. First of all, this file will be created, new.inf, and the name will be changed. Okay, done. So let me close. Now student.dat file, let me open this again. Look at here. Max is incremented of all the students. So this is how it works. Thank you for watching. If you understand this concept, please click the like button, click the subscribe button and share with your friends. Have a great day and see you in the next video.